A lot has been happening in the AI video space. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new feature that has just been launched by Kyber, which allows your current videos to be converted into animated videos just like these ones that you are seeing on the screen right now. Kyber's new feature also can be compared to Runway ML's Gen 1 that is also a video to video model. In order to use this feature, you need to apply for the early access. So visit kyber.ai, the link to this is in the description down below. And then fill in your email and click on get started. Once you do that, you will receive an email and within one or two days, you will get access to this new tool of Kyber. Now let's see what it is capable of and what you can expect once you get the access. So to start creating videos, click on create video. And then there are two options right here. One is initial image. So you can upload an image and create a video with different frames as you have seen in stable diffusion. And the second option is you can upload a video and convert it into different styles of animation just like Gen 1. So we want to use this one first. I'm also going to show you this one, but let's first upload a video and check it out. In order to select a video for demonstration, I've come to pixels.com. So you can visit this website and pick videos for free, which are free of copyright and all. So I've selected this video. Let's download this video. Once you have decided which video to upload, just drag and drop the video into this section right here. And then click on continue to prompt. Once you get access, you're going to get around 240 tokens. And as you can see, this video is uh, costing 22 tokens. So let's continue to prompt. Now in order to start prompting, an easy way to prompt is just click on these already given themes that you can select from. So let's create a video using these themes. A portrait of a main character, a beautiful sunset painting, a secret garden, a bustling shopping street. Let's uh, click on a beautiful sunset painting and then let's select the style. So let's select the style, maybe oil painting would be good. And then let's click on continue to settings. Now in edit settings, you need to select the number of the edit. So the higher the number, the more you will have a flicker. If you keep the number low, you will have a low flicker. So I think I need to keep it seven as I did with my previous videos. So click on generate. The first part of generating a video is that you have four options to select from. You need to select what your first frame of the video will look like. So once you've selected the first frame, just click on that style of video and click on finalize video. The video creation takes around 10 or 12 minutes to generate. In the meantime, let's uh, see some of the generations, my previous generations that I have played around with. So these were the image to video that I generated earlier that I was telling you about. There are two features. One is the video to video and one is the image to video. So these are the image to video. I generated the images using tools like Leonardo and mid journey. And then the first frame of the video was decided by that first image that I gave in. And this video right here was generated using the same model that is the video to video model. So as you can see, this is the video that was generated. This is the prompt that was used in order to convert the video into an animation. Now I'll show you what the original video looked like. So this is the original video. It is just a plain video, nothing very special. And then using that simple prompt, I converted that video into this. I came back to my videos in order to check the video that we previously generated and it took approximately 12 minutes to generate. Now let's have a look at what outcome did we get. And this is what it came up with. Now let's expand the video and see. 
So we added some oil painting and sunset and it has added exactly that because the background was initially white. Now once you have generated the video you can download this video from right here. You can remove the watermark but for that you need to buy the pro version of this. This is one of the previous videos that I generated. Right now this video looks like this as you can see. It looks pretty nice. It looks like a pretty nice animated character that is practicing boxing. Now I'll show you what the initial video looked like. So the initial video looks like this. And after converting the video, it looks like this. Now that you are familiar with some of the examples of the video to video model, Let's try some of the image to video examples and see what it is capable of. In order to do that, let's click on create video. When you come to this image to video generation option, you will have the option to upload an image in order to generate the first frame or either you can skip to prompt. So let's try adding some easy prompting using these themes right here. I want to create a video of select a subject so click on select a subject and then we can click a secret garden in the style of select a style and let's try 3d render you can add more keywords in order to make it a bit more detailed you can go ahead and click on continue to settings now just Decide the evolve level and click the aspect ratio and then just click on generate and this video comparatively takes lesser time because it is just generated using images and it is a bit flickery too. So let's wait for around 15 seconds. Now select the first frame of your video. I want to select this one and then click on finalize video another 10 seconds in order to generate the video the video is finally generated and it looks pretty nice the video is quite flickery but if you want to make music videos or you want to upload it on YouTube you can do that you can generate different videos and blend them together there are a lot more features in the pro version if you buy their monthly subscription like the zoom in videos that you see on stable diffusion. Let's create another video. This time I've decided to upload my own image that I downloaded from Leonardo.ai. So I've selected this image and after you've selected the image just click on continue to prompt. I want to create a video of a young boy turning into an old man and the style will be 3d render and then let's click on continue to settings let's choose a duration of 10 seconds and let's select this evolve level to 8 and then just click on generate the video has finally been generated and honestly i'm really very happy with the video just look at the video the quality of the video is really amazing. The one thing that I found missing in the video is that the boy didn't turn into adult first like middle aged man. He just directly turned into an old man because I didn't add the prompt turn into an adult and then old. So you need to play around with the prompts in order to get what you really are looking for in a video. And then you can do the same thing. Just click on download video. In order to remove the watermark, obviously you need to buy the plan, a monthly subscription. Now let's check out some of the plans that are available. And don't think that I'm sponsored. This is in no way a sponsored video. I just like the software and I'm not compelling you to buy a plan. I myself don't have a plan. So why would you, why would I tell you to buy one? So the $10 per month one, you can consider it. But this is only if you bill it yearly. If you bill it monthly, you are going to be charged $15 a month. So it is up to you to maybe buy the
pro version and explore some of the more features. And one more thing, Linkin Park released two or three songs recently. One is four weeks ago, one is a few months ago. And those music videos also were made by Kyber. So you can check those out. I'm not going to show you because of copyright claims. This was it for the video. If you found the video helpful and informative, then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.